Hi guys, um, I haven't watched the Jonathan Clegg videos, the latest that were uploaded on the 20th today. Uh, I think it might be past midnight now. I, um, it's just I'm, I'm in bed trying to, but the dogs are making a bit of noise, so I apologise for the dogs. But um, I just thought I'd watch this, it's a wee bit easier going, believe it or not. <laughs> this is easier going, because it's not... It's not completely backloaded and scriptural the way, like, Jonathan Clegg is the greatest teacher um, that the earth has been endowed with at the moment. Glory, stop it, leave Michael alone. Sorry guys. He is, whether you realise it or not, doesn't change the truth, he is. See, that's why I'm not watching Jonathan Clegg because I can't really handle that. But um, it's just that I haven't, stop it guys, I haven't seen Vinny and Billy for a long time and I just decided to watch this. Stop it guys. Right, I'm trying to separate the children. Now as soon as I played it, I felt the Holy Spirit remind me that although I've articulated very clearly on YouTube and I've actually text messaged Billy, which really I'm sure he doesn't give two hoots about, that I'm not on his walker. I did meet him personally and the Lord spoke to me, so I'm not on his walker, right? But in saying that, the Lord has given me many prophetic things for him about him having too short a tow rope um, to get the Māori out of the, the deep boo-boo that they're in, because they are in it, and they, whether they realise it or not, they're in trouble with the Lord, uh, just like all of us are. Nobody is going to escape the judgment to come, but... I know that he's going to reach out to the people. So that's good and that's where Billy's coming from. And his heart is in the right place. And the Lord spoke to me about forked tongue and gave me the vision of him getting three king punches from someone on a couch, TV at the end of the couch. And it was like, and I've shared it before, it was so dysfunctional. And each time this man at the other end of the couch just sporadically kicked him and actually flipped his entire body and just king hit him in the head. Each time that happened, I went up to check on him and he was covering his head and uh, the third time he said, my eyes are hiding, my eyes are hiding and when I pulled his hands off his eyes his face I expect to see really bloody eyes but instead I saw no eyes they were right in the back of his head and there's something to be said about that um, and he's taken a lot of hits this man showing a lot of courage but unfortunately he's not in the truth uh, not to say that that won't happen but really I have given, I've been given more encouragement uh, with Finney, who's an atheist, that he will be more of a help when it comes to the fire. When the fire comes, the second fire, it's Vinny who assists. Now, the reason why I just want to play this little bit is because it's about the good, the bad and the awful. Because I've been sitting on it. And I've been hinting and giving clues because I want to prepare you for it. Because I really want, even though the word is short, I want the impact. I want it to get in, you know? Like Colgate, Fleurigard and Mrs. Marsh, she said it really gets in. Okay, let me stop these dogs. So, take a careful look at this article and what Billy says because it is a bit of a clue as to the bad. 
which is what they are up to now. It's where they're at right now. It's like a, the Lord has given me a snapshot of what's important and what they are doing now. Okay, so listen carefully. Is that they do that, but if we can help save lives by testing on a non-human... Um... So we'll go back a wee bit further. Stop it, Glory. Things are ramping up. It really, really does. But as they ramp up in terms of potential threat assessment, we have to mitigate mitigate as best as we can, but we have to ramp up our our opposition to it and be, be clearly heard. And that's why it's so important that people who want to support this message that we're putting out to educate people, to wake people up that aren't awake to what's going on. Hit, hit the share button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Now, <clears throat> we have articles... First of all, scientists revealed the first ever human monkey hybrid. And I thought I saw one uh, working for the IRD. I was uh, just like, wait a second. No. No, no. But here, this just confirms it. Well, I think we've got a few, possibly a few of those in the uh, in the Labour Party, potentially even in the National Party, and definitely in the Greens. Well, they, but, they, do, they are prone to nitpicking. Well, there you go, we're nitpicking ourselves here. But look, the reason why I sent this particular screenshot in was because really what, we, what we're looking at um, is, a, is a disgraceful program where, that, where you know, scientists are pushing the burrow further and further into areas where I don't believe we've got a right to go into. Now, it's all good that, um, um, that they're saying, you know, they want to test on animals. Look, I feel sorry for animals that they do that. But if we can help save lives by testing on a non-human um, um, organism, then, then 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 fine if it's humane in terms of the way that the poor animal is not suffering or things like that. But what we have here in this story here, which caught my eye, is that they they're actually trying to 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 breed these chimeric um, animals that have both you know human DNA, human characteristics as well as their own species characteristics. So that they can they can you know do different types of tests that that ethically they can't do on humans, um, but this is what they're revealing to us. What the hell aren't they revealing to us? I don't. I'm not naive to think for a second that people who think that doing this is okay aren't doing dastardly evil stuff behind the scenes that they know is not okay, and that they all know we know that it's not okay. I mean, there's all sorts of rumours and rabbit hole conspiracies around. You know the the Dulce laboratories in New Mexico and and all these different um, you know, medical testing areas that are off limits to the rest of the planet. And I don't doubt for a second that that the same type of mentality that are doing these black op types of um, um, testing and experiments are the very same people that have done that are involved in what we've seen today in the rollout of this fake campaign across the planet in terms of the nanotechnology that's involved in. Um, and confirmed, you know, to be involved in some of the very machinations that we're seeing now. I'll give you a quick example. Number one, John Hopkins University received 860 million US dollars from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to develop what nanotechnology to what to go into injectiles, to go into onto um, nasal swabs, uh, no relation to Klaus Schwab, and um, you know, and it just this whole list of things that just doesn't look right, you know, now. Now, I hadn't listened to that, but he goes off topic. This is the topic that the Lord has brought up. They're actually trying to 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 breed these chimeric um, animals that have both, you know, human DNA, human characteristics as well as their own species characteristics, so that they can they can, you know, do different types of tests that that ethically they can't do on humans. Um, but this is what they're revealing to us. What the hell aren't they revealing to us? I don't, I'm don't. i not naive to think for a second that people who think that doing this is okay aren't doing dastardly evil stuff behind the scenes. Right, so what are the dastardly evil things behind the scenes? Well, that's what the Lord's shown me. And that's the bad.
why do I take this word hybrid seriously? It sounds silly, but it's how he showed me. I left one and I went I left the house I closed the gate it was um, 2019 at the end of 2019 and I was buying materials for this house that I'm building and I found some flooring that was discounted I thought it was a good deal so it had been returned so I bought it I didn't look at the labelling or anything then when I returned and I went to unlock the gate Below the padlock was a lighter, and I've I know where these it had a cover on it, and I know where you buy them. You buy them from there's an Indian store in um, I think it's just Runanga, which is between Kumara Junction and Greymouth. It's the closest dairy to me if I don't go to the Kumara. He has them for sale on a shelf, right? They are made of, say, aluminium and they're cast. So I'd never seen it before. I'd never noticed it in the dairy. It was afterwards I noticed them in the dairy. So it's, I believe it's a local who's bought it from that dairy, dropped their lighter. Now, it may very well have been one of the gold miners, but someone was using a lighter to try and get into the padlock while I was away. When I come back, it was still locked. Now, I know the lighter wasn't there when I left because the gold miners had left. I was the only one to lock the gate. And when you lock the gate, you can't help but not miss... You couldn't miss it. It was right under the padlock. So when I returned, I saw it. Now, it's cast aluminium and it... I have it, um, I think I've just put it in one of my cupboards, I've showed it before, it's of two dragons all sort of with tails and it's just one of those um, fantasy type motifs which is not fantasy because we know from Jonathan Clegg what dragons are, the evidence that points to dragons, the evidence that points to dinosaurs, that the Christian church has never really inquired about, yet the Bible answers. And Jonathan Clegg has found the scriptures that tell the truth about the dragons, the dinosaurs, and the serpent race, right? The creators, the originals. So two of them happened to be two on the lighter. That was curious in itself. Now as soon as I got inside, turn all the lights on, I'm giving you a lot of detail here because it's really important. I thought, right, I, before I'd come into the caravan, I went into the portacom and I lifted this heavy flooring into the portacom, but I ripped the label off so that I could Google it to find out how to lay it, what type of glue, and the size and so forth. So I was looking at this lighter and thinking, wow, someone possibly was trying to break in and they dropped their lighter. It was like an enemy at the gate, the Lord just said, and it was a dream. So then I looked at the cardboard and I've still got it and I've shown it before and it's called hybrid. The flooring is a hybrid. So it's like timber, but not. It's a hybrid. It's artificial timber. 
as well use this keyword hybrid, but really they're just mocking us. It's mockery. And that's when the Lord quickened to me about hybrids. That it was important, that it's a thing, that it's the truth. And that it's happening. And now with this word, the bad, I know that is what they are doing. Not because I'm a trooper, because I do. I have joined the troopers. I'm watching the parade. I know how to get ushered. I've already fallen for it. Just like they did. But I was different. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Isn't that nice? I love a sneeze. What is it? Yeah, it's called a sneeze, Michael. Don't be frightened. Um, since then, I went to the same shop, Smith City. And it was about nearly a year later. <laughs> it's only a few. Like, nearly a year later. And the exact same flooring, which they don't even stock anymore, was sitting there in the off returns, you know, reduce. Now, I paid 130 for the first lot. Now, it was only 75 exactly half price of the first. So, now I had two boxes of it, and I thought, well, I definitely buy it because I didn't have enough before, and now I have more. And that's the flooring I'm going to put out there. Beautiful charcoal flooring. And I thought, oh, I wonder what the colour is. Now, I had torn the label off the box again. This time I tore a different part of the label off. Okay. So I looked at it and I've got it up there. This part of the li label actually named the colour of this hybrid flooring. The colour. And the colour is called Huntress. So what is a hybrid I might just look up the definition, put it on the thumbnail. What is the definition of hybrid? How broad is that? Let's see if it encompasses what the Lord said is happening right now. And I will be bringing that scribe word soon. But I just want to keep preparing you so that when it does come, it really gets in. Because there's... The thing is that all the other information, you guys, people are just saturated. They're, they're, it's, that's part of the, it's part of the plan is to oversaturate us with information to cause confusion. But the Lord God is not, is not the author of confusion. I'm not confused. I'm never confused because I just follow what I hear the Lord say and stick to that. Yes, I have other information, but I don't believe it because it doesn't come from him direct. That's what you need to do. Anything else is an addition that the Lord can bring understanding and help you reason because we have faculties and we have a mind, fine. But by my spirit, says the Lord, not by power, not by might, which is your own intellect, your own strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord, and that's how you know the truth. To the you know the truth, and you're on the rock, so that you do not shift. As in, it's not something that you you don't waver. It's not sand. It's the rock. You know it because you know it. Just like I know about the UFOs because I saw the orbs. Not because there's been 90 years of documented evidence, not to mention all the diary, diaries, the inputs and diaries, that type of, and hieroglyphs and all the other things of aliens and visitors, the deception. And not because of that, that's not why I believe it. It's because I saw it in a dream. And that's my rock, because I walk, I walk by faith, by every word that the Lord gives, that he sends, his living word. And a dream becomes a word 
just like the Lord. And don't say, oh no, he only speaks in his word. What bullshit's that? What did Jesus do? Did he write anything down? No, he spoke. And how did he speak? Sometimes he spoke plainly to those who were spiritually aware, his disciples, but to others who he knew wouldn't understand, he spoke in parables. So if you can't understand me, it's because you don't understand. And it's a parable. And that's one of the reasons why this channel most likely won't get pulled down, because it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. Because people don't have the time. And when the master sent the servants out, they were all too busy. And I'm not going to tell you, because <clears throat> I was thinking this earlier in the spirit. The thing is, because of your wickedness, and I'm wicked as well, and I've met face to face with someone who's done this. It's the same principle this man said to me. Well, when's the last chance? You know, if this is the end, when's when's how long have we got? And when's the last chance for me to to repent and um, cry out to God? Because he wanted to know if he could just be free to do what he's doing, carry on, and and his sin till the very last minute. And that's what people think. Oh. Well, that means I could just carry on my life and then just before I die or just before I commit suicide, I can repent. Just like Jeff Riley, he put up a post. I want to link his post because it's really good. So I'm going to link it. You need to listen to his word. He doesn't bring many now. But he was talking about how the Lord showed him someone that it was possible to repent after you've had your vaccine, your visa. Okay, but the Lord's not stupid. So if I told you now that he was going to do a quick work in people, like it's taken me three years of retreating and seeking the Lord to get to where I am, and it's taken Jonathan Clegg 16 years. Well, I've been saved about 28 years, so you could say officially it's taken me that long. But I mucked around a lot more than Jonathan. <laughs> With my idols, he seemed to, he seemed to be a, he's a quick learner because he had an urgency. His call was for the fire before the fire. Mine's for after the glory, for the glory after the fire, which I can wish well, I'm in time for because it's got the Lord's timing. He will complete the work that he started in you. He will. I'm a testimony. I know he will. I'm testifying that he will. So relax, it's easy as, but don't get cocky. If I tell you it's going to be a quick work, as in those that come in, this Joshua generation, the vagabonds outside the city, the ones who, who respond, who come to the banquet, get cleaned up and hear the Lord and get set out into the harvest very, very quickly. If I tell you that it's a quick work, then will you stop seeking the Lord now? Because that's the wicked flesh. It's like, well, let's just wait until the glory increases, until the time comes. Why try now where it's hard? You know, why try now when it's hard? Why can't we just, we'll sit back and because we know, because you, the thing is that no one who's a believer will be left behind. It's true. But do you really want to test the Lord your God? Did Jesus warn us against it? Just because the angels were commanded to catch him, did he jump when Satan said jump? No. So don't test him in saying that it will be a quick work. So don't be concerned about, I've got family, I've got people that I know the Lord will heal and use. And they are so far and they have absolutely no knowledge of God, no experience of God, no understanding, no wisdom, nothing. But the Lord God knows their heart. You can't fool him. That's why he points out the false church, the mean, and the truthers, the detectives, 
that rely on their own understanding. And they don't see the play within a play, and they don't know how to flip it, flip it, flip it, or perceive the Lord flipping it. And they just don't have eyes to see the harvest, and they don't have eyes to recognize those that are the sons and daughters of God. Yeah, we're hidden, but that's no excuse. That is absolutely no excuse. If you're a sheep, you should be finding them now. You should be that He is gathering his people. Because if I'm right, and I, it's hard because I don't like dates, but if I'm right and we have a year, we have a year reprieve. I know that people were talking about a year reprieve or that Trump was a reprieve. What rubbish. He, was a, he is a decoy duck. He's one of the three kings I saw riding. Look at him taking credit for what we have to put in our arm. Taking credit. He's a foul, evil man. He is doubled down. Not even Click can see that. He's, he is doubled down. I know he looked to be hated by all men. The, the left hated him but it was a play within a play so it's the same thing as Roddy Piper are you ready to take the glasses off now that you've seen the truth take another look at this hybrid this word hybrid it's important because amongst all the many, many things that they're up to, this is the one that the Lord said, this is what they are doing now. So I will put up the, the thumbnail and hope, to, the, hope to, to God that the Lord gives me more to confirm what I've just said. Maybe in the timestamp, who knows. Have a look at the thumbnail, please.